been three months now, so I'm going to talk about it and just talk about all the kind of basic questions that come up the most. Well, there's several reasons. One of them definitely being medical. I couldn't breathe from my nose. I didn't actually have any airways in my nose. They were shut like this when they're meant to look like that. So couldn't breathe through my nose, guys. But also I couldn't smell because of that, and it wasn't that I couldn't smell, it's that because I had no airways, I could not smell. I still suffer with anosmia as well now because it's just been damaged over the years because of this. I was unhappy with the appearance with it as well, but I actually have a letter that says that they would not do any work at all on my nose because they didn't need to do cosmetic work. And then about 10 to 20 minutes before my surgery, literally getting onto the table, guys. They were like, we didn't realise how badly you had it and we've just gotten all the films back off your nose and we need to now break it and detach it and just completely form a new shape from it, make it brand new. So they asked me if there was any kind of preference of shape I'd like and I just literally went straight because my nose was actually like this on the inside and also it came out from where I broke it when I was a kid. That's why I got it done, so that it actually was a functioning piece on my face rather than a really horrible aesthetic piece. Yeah. Because what I had is a medical procedure and it was so it would better my quality of life and it wasn't just because I was unhappy with the shape. It was all covered on the NHS. I did, as I said the first time around, I said, is there anything you could do cosmetically? Because it does make me a bit unhappy. I've been very heavily bullied for my face appearance. And they went, no, we can't cover that. Sorry, we do not cover cosmetic surgery, at least anymore. But since they were smashing it in anyway, yeah, I just didn't know what it was going to look like. But completely covered by the NHS. I was very, very fortunate. They were really, really supportive about it and they were more than happy for me to have a functioning face. So there wasn't any problems. In fact, my mum came and stayed with me for a week while I recovered, which was really nice of her. So I had a closed septo rhinoplasty, which essentially was they detached my nose from my face and then broke it. Um, they detached it because they had to completely rebuild the septum on the inside, it wasn't there. And then they put holes in my face so I could breathe. It was really kind of dramatic. What was meant to be a 30 minute outpatient procedure became really, really complicated. Spent four hours on the table, had to stay in hospital overnight because of complications, which was fun. So the actual surgery itself, I was out like a light, I was under general anaesthetic, and I didn't really feel anything. I remember coming out of the anaesthesia not very well. Apparently I came out of it the first time and I was just sick, <laughs> which is gross. And then the second time I came around, I actually had memory loss. I couldn't remember anything till the night before I had gone to bed and then waking up in hospital is quite a shock. And the nurse just saw me really quietly having tears down my face, being a bit scared. And she's like, what's wrong? And I was like, I don't know what's happened, but I feel like my mum would be here. Is my mum here? <laughs> and they let her come in because I was just having a bit of a freak out but I didn't actually immediately feel any pain or have any bruising immediately, but I did have bruising. I'll show you that in a second. So because I had a closed septorhinoplasty, what actually happened is they detached my skin from all the way around here. And they did that by going in through my nose and then cutting away at it. And the face is super stretchy. So they just went vroom and they could go in through my nostrils and do everything they had to do. They showed me pictures, so they actually had like this much space, which is surreal. They only showed me close up pictures because no one wants to see their face away. Basically they went through and did everything and then stitched it from the top to the bottom after and all in the inside. So I had no stitches on the outside. I actually had dissolvable packing so they didn't have to pull anything out from my nose either because apparently that wouldn't have been very good for the kind of surgery I had. It was more structurally sound just to keep it as solid as possible. So yeah, they pitched my face up like a tent and I have two little, two tiny, tiny scars here where they had things on the inside just like popping it up, which is so gross. Something to mention, because they did peel my skin off, I had absolutely no nerves for two months on my face or any feeling here because of where they detached the nose. So they had severed all the nerves. They have all come back fine. I still don't have full feeling here, but I can definitely feel so much more and more and more feelings coming back every day. I just wish I knew that I had no nerves on my face for a while because I booked a job 10 days later and I couldn't present properly and it was really hard. The first few days I was very out of it. I actually had a massive drug trip from the anaesthesia, the painkillers, the antibiotics all mixed together and I thought my bookcases were melting and I could feel sounds. 
I hated it, it was the worst morning of my life. I actually thought I was having an anxiety attack until I realized, oh, no wait, I'm just having a drug trip. That's weird, I've never had one of those before. So I don't recommend it, it was horrible. And I scared my housemates being in Callum because I was just staring at the bookcases all like. The following few days, I actually began to feel a little bit of pain but the biggest amount of pain was actually down my throat where the tube was and I had to have a lot of painkillers for that. That really, really hurt and I couldn't eat properly. I was on puddings and uh, soup and things like that. Just mush because I also didn't have any nerves in my top of my mouth, the roof of my mouth, so I couldn't chew properly. That part was really, really painful for like three weeks. I think I went to work back too early after two weeks because I immediately caught cold, which is really hard to recover from when you can't do the inside of your nose or blow it. I just had to do loads and loads of sign and rinse, so now I'm down to about one a week. But recovery is tougher than you think it will be, and I'd recommend if you can take three weeks off, do. I didn't. I kind of regret that I went back far too soon. But I also had a very intense procedure. Well, because all the stitches were inside my nose, it wasn't so much of a problem, I could feel them every now and again. They've all dissolved now, they took two months to start dissolving. I thought they would be going within the first two weeks, but they took two months. And I'm pretty sure they took a bit longer just because I had a cold. But the sinus rinse really helped. And I actually pulled one stitch out accidentally in the first two weeks because it was right there. And I honestly just thought it was a thick hair on my nose or something. And I went like that and it came off and I was like, oh that's a stitch. So don't pull those. Don't recommend that, but it hasn't really damaged my nose, so that's good. I had no idea because we were not meant to change the shape, and then we did. So I spent the first week panicking I looked like Michael Jackson, but now I have a reasonably straight nose. It actually has a small bump on it again, and it's from where the bone is now trying to recover, and it's trying to grow a bit of new bone and new um, cartilage. But apparently that's going to smooth down in a year. I won't know the final results for a year and it's actually still quite swollen, so this is more likely to go down, apparently, and so is this. So it should be a little more petite, which is interesting, because I still don't know what it's gonna look like. I got my cast removed a week after, and I have to say it was the biggest relief of my life. For the last two days, I had the itchiest nose, and it sucked, and I was slowly peeling away at the cast at the sides, trying to get at it. Just the little bits that were flaking up anyway, I was like, oh my god. So that sucked. So I've mentioned this in a fair few videos, breathing through your nose is awesome. I've never done it before, although I have felt myself kind of wanting to breathe through my mouth when I walk up high streets and stuff, because I had no idea that in the morning, like, town just smells like fast food from the night before. It's absolutely disgusting. It should be noted that I was told for a month to sleep upright, and I'm a side sleeper, so it was really hard, and there were so many times where I kind of just woke up at my side like, Oh no, and then my nose would change shape just for a little bit. My nose changed shape almost every day for a couple of weeks, just because it depends where the swelling is. But I appreciate now that I can lie on my side. So much better. <laughs> the skin is really disgusting, and I'm sorry this might be a bit too TMI, but I had the biggest blackheads I've ever had in my life on my nose, and you can't push them because it will destroy, like, it's all new and sensitive, so you can't get rid of them in any form or way. So something I recommend is Bois Charcoal Deep Pool Cleanser. It essentially eliminated my blackheads. I actually have a less blackheads of my nose than I did previously. So that stuff's amazing. My nose has been mega oily since and apparently the skin's gonna be overcompensating for the surgery for two years. So it's gonna be oily for two years. I'm a lot more confident. I feel like I look better. I generally just like the appearance of my face more. I got asked all the time before, could I taste stuff even though I couldn't smell? And I could, because they are still two separate senses. I have found when I smell, I feel like I'm tasting air, which is something I could do before. It just feels really intense now. Also, shampoo smells so good, so good. I had so much swelling and bruising. My eyes went the proper black eyes. I actually still have bruising under my eyes right now, just little yellow ones, um, but nothing that concealer doesn't cover. What I wasn't expecting was the amount of swelling along my jawline. I actually swelled up all the way along here like a chipmunk, and because it was so swollen, it bruised. So I had massive yellowy green bruises all the way down here. Yeah, it's still numb, my nerves are still coming back. I now have nerves all along here and here, which is nice because I couldn't smile and now 
I kind of can. And I have all this back really now and I didn't have that for ages. I just had resting bitch face for two months, which was really sad. I hated that so much. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. It helps share the video and maybe help those who want these questions answered, which would be great. Like considering the skin and numbing thing and the no nerve thing, because I didn't know about that. And you can subscribe for more. So yeah, I'll catch you in a couple of days. Bye.